Greetings. Let's try my Anaconda farming ship. And it's also Anaconda. Four multi cannons and two Imperial hammers and two railguns with plasma slug. I will show you later exactly what mods I have. For now, just let's test it. And because you have upgraded ship and heavy, you can always do this. It should speed up all process of killing enemies. Yep, it's pretty fast. And because you have by wave shields, they will charge quite fast back so you can ram. And stay here quite some time before you run out of ammo. You can even save some multi cannon ammo by using more your railguns because all you care is fuel. And then Aconda has pretty big fuel tank. You can add more fuel tanks into internal compartments if you are planning to stay much longer. So basically railguns with plasma slug special ability are kind of thermal weapons. You don't worry about ammo anymore. Very cool. Well, it's quite fast. Even against clippers. But I want some serious anaconda. Let's hope I will see one. So let's try deadly python. If you want to rip through hull faster, you should have at least one corrosive shell. It seems they do not stack. So one is more than enough, but if you have different class multi-cannons, you'll run out of ammo for multi-cannons with higher rate of fire first. So if you have small, medium, large, huge, and you have corrosive shell on small or medium ones, you will run out of ammo before large and huge. Add here that you will have less ammo, because corrosive shell has this negative effect of reducing your total ammo and clip size. Probably having two, small or medium, and deactivating one while using other is best option. Also, don't forget about crafting. You can always craft ammo for your corrosive shell multi-cannon. And you can apply high capacity ammo mod. So even if you lose some capacity because of corrosive shell, in the end you'll have more than normally. Yeah, you can see that. This is Anaconda Killer ship. Big ships are dying very fast. I'm just not convinced I need four railguns. Let's take shields down. And just annihilate it. Yeah. Not quite spectacular as Federal Corvette with full multi-cannon load, <laughs> but very impressive. And huge gimbal multi-cannons are crazy good. Oh yeah. Next. Dangerous Clipper. Why not? Clippers are beautiful when they blow up. One shot and shields offline. Clippers are more agile. Booms. As you can see, this loadout is quite effective. Only you should hope to be luckier than me and have less thermal load for your railguns and imperial hammers. Because as you see, they slightly overheat my ship. I used imperial hammers on my trading anaconda for quite some time. I have a nice picture. 
beautiful explosion. Okay. I still have ammo and a lots of ammo. This loadout you can use for long sessions as well. Oh, deadly. Please be wanted. This was I'm talking about. And here is my account. It took me only 126 fishes to upgrade it, and most went into weapons. And now I think I would go for railguns instead of imperial hammers, or maybe I would try to mod more to get less thermal load. However, devs have decreased how frequent special abilities are, and it's really hard to get what you want now. Gimbal 4, class 4, multi cannon, and 3, class 3 gimbal. Class 4 I have is in century rounds, which are good against shields. As you can see, 150 damage per second increase, 92% damage, it's crazy what you can get now. And large ones, all I have is corrosive shell, which are good against hull. You don't need them all to be corrosive, because effect does not stack. However, if you have more than one, I think you have a higher chance of applying the special effect, because there's a chance. And if you have three, I think you will have all the time this effect applied to enemy hull. I used them in same fire group, while probably I had to divide them, and use corrosive only against hull. But, you know, if you ram them, they mostly lose shields, or almost lose shields. So here are my three corrosive shell multi cannons with quite nice damage per second. I did not spend so much fish on those, but I spent quite some fish to get corrosive three because you get random special abilities now. And I spent most of my fish on Imperial Hammers. Plasma slug is not that common, and you can see right away that I used short range blaster, which was a mistake for this loadout. Because it increased thermal load for almost all my railguns. So I have two Imperial Hammers with Plasma Slug and two small railguns as well with Plasma Slug. And as you can see, if you are lucky or you roll many many times, you can even decrease thermal load for your railgun. But really you must be lucky because you need Plasma Slug and you need also this one and it's not that easy to get. So, short range blaster, not good for railguns if you overheat. If you can handle heat, it's good. I think next time I would have two hammers, two railguns, but not short range blaster, or use four railguns to medium to small. I actually like plasma slug, it's quite cool. And if you have small fuel tank, you can always add more fuel tanks to your internal compartments. Basically, you can carry ammo with you. Utility mounts, I had all shield boosters, but you need heat sinks, you really need at least one, I would say. Just in case, you never know what happens. And core internal, I have reactive composite this time. As you can see, hull boost 250%, kinetic 35, thermal minus 13. I lose a little bit thermal, but I gain a lot in other. And with modifications, you can see it's quite impressive. Plus 10% kinetic, and I only lose 13% in thermal. So now with mods, you can influence pretty much everything. And you can make your hull very resistant to any damage type. So it's really up to you which bulkhead you use and which mod you apply. Power plant. I usually have overcharge because it gives you higher power output and usually you need that, but with all multi cannons huge and large, you might create a build that does not require you to overcharge your power plant. Most obvious being silent run build. You don't need so much power, so you can go for power efficient power plant. Trusters, I have dirty drives. 
24 almost optimal multiplier. Optimal mass minus 5. Frame should drive actually get a nice one. Almost 30% optimized mass increased. Power distributor I used this time, charge enhanced, so 31.6 weapons and 29.1 to engines and systems. But you lose 14, 12.4 in capacity. I just thought that I can shoot with multi cannons for very long time with two pips if I have faster recharge. And optional, I have shield. By the shield because it charges faster. But if you only care about mecha jewels, you should go for prismatic or regular shields. And from my tests, I've learned that if you have four utility mounts, you can multiply your shields by three, and if you have eight, by six. Before and after modding, I mean. So if you have 1,000 mega joules and you have four utility mounts, you will have around 3,000 mega joules after you upgrade your shield, shield boosters. Huge improvement. And also you can have different kind of resistance on your shield boosters as well. So now we can influence so many different stats. And I modded my two shield cell banks. Power drove, decrease spin up time, 3 seconds instead of 5. And reinforcement 11.4%. And second one is similar. Spin up time 3 seconds, yeah. And 11.3. And I also have hull reinforcement packages, which you can also mod with heavy duty hull reinforcement. It's similar to shield booster heavy duty one. As you see, you gain hull reinforcement quite a lot, plus 50%. Shield boosters gave you around 60, 70 if you are lucky. And kinetic, thermal and explosive resistance you can also increase for each. So where's my second one? You can see. Plus 50%, plus 48, plus 55 in hull reinforcement. And here you can see shipyards, that's for that same Anaconda. 242 meters per second top speed, boost 323, jump range around 1921 light year. It's heavy build, fully loaded, quite impressive. Shields above 4,000 are more 3.5, 3 3.6 thousand. You can get more if you buy more hull reinforcement packages. Yeah. This ship allowed me to stay quite some time and it rips anacondas and any other big ship, especially slower ships. Not as impressive as two huge multi cannons I had on Federal Corvette. And these railguns with plasma slug can take off some pressure of multi cannons so you can stay there longer. And you can use them when enemy chaffs. But it seems two medium railguns would be better because I overheated my ship quite a lot. Fly safe, commanders.